and welcome to your gold market update for today the 30th of june 2022 mike smith senior analyst gold markets here and happy end of the quarter let's have a look at how markets are shaping up today it was a new neutral session on wall street after mixed data we had gdp numbers out and pce data which were around expectations monthly gdp slightly worse than expected our year-on-year -year gdp slightly beat obviously caution persisting relating to the medium term economic conditions inflation and of course energy costs we saw the dow finish slightly positive and the s p 500 and nasdaq slightly to the downside but very close to that neutral level u.s futures haven't really moved from that point and are pretty neutral in asia so far asian indices are trading slightly lower asx is down around a half of one percent uh, european futures are also pointed to in neutral open as markets really seem very unclear about what to do next a us dollar index did rise yesterday testing resistance today after a strong day throughout the session and gold is just about holding on to that important 1820 short-term support oil did test 120 during the course of yesterday got pretty close to that but fell towards the back of the us session towards that 115 and the vix is still below 30 this morning Bitcoin has retested 20,000 support, trading in a very tight range. Spent a lot of the session yesterday just below that 20,000, but didn't really seem the appetite to push it any lower than that at this stage. But obviously, we'll see how things pan out. On the data front, we've got quite a busy day. We've got Chinese PMI out this morning, both manufacturing and services. We've got German retail sales and employment numbers out later this afternoon, along with UK GDP. U.S. weekly jobs and PCE numbers are the highlights from tonight's U.S. session. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. I will start with the ASX and we're just keeping an eye on Wally Parsons Limited. There's the CFD contract trading at around about 1440. 1460 is the level of interest. So a little bit of work to do before it pushes through that level. We would suggest this is a breakout. You can see how this level was support from mid-may through to this recent pullback that we had in markets generally and so that's a level possibly 1460 with the potential upside of around about five and a half percent technically if we do get a break the swissy is been an interesting place to be over the last 24 hours and we're having a look here at the swiss franc japanese yen chart on the daily this just seems to continue to go higher once again, we're trading towards the highs of the Asian session. There's the Asian market open on this hourly chart. You can just see we're testing that sort of 143.15 level. If we do get a break of this, then we could see ourselves up around about 50 pips up to test yesterday's high around about 143.72. So we'll keep an eye on that. But across the board, the Swissy pairs are looking interesting. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.